All right, and so, you know, here's what the butter and olive oil mix looks like, basically. Um, started off with three sticks of butter and about a cup of olive oil. And, um, you know, I've been basically using it uh, pretty, pretty healthily to dress all of these half loaves um, that I've cut in half. And uh, I'm taking those middle sections um, from the baguettes um, because they're the, the softest, even though this is two days old. They're still soft enough uh, that when you put these in the oven, uh, I store them either in tin foil or, hey, I don't have any tin foil, we're out of it, so I'm storing them into plastic uh, baggies. Um, I basically put the two half pieces back together and then I store them in baggies or tin foil. When they come out of the baggies, I'll have put them in tin foil. They'll be frozen, and then I'll put them in the oven for maybe 300 degrees for maybe 20 minutes, half hour. And then the last five minutes, take them, open them up, put them under the, put them back in the oven under the broiler maybe, and go ahead and let them get all crisped up. You could put some crushed garlic on it to make a garlic bread. Uh, of course, some uh, coarse salt, black pepper, and it with a wonderful treat. Um, now, uh, also, um, I've been cutting into thinner pieces, nice thin, maybe half inch long, half inch wide rounds. These are fantastic uh, as a great afternoon snack uh, or an hors d'oeuvre. You basically take these, you could put them in the oven as well. Um, and then just go ahead and crisp them up a little bit. And then of course you could put anything you want on there. A little goat cheese, maybe, uh, maybe some again butter, a little olive oil, some salt, maybe a tomato spread or something. And then uh, I'm also doing these uh, wider rounds, uh, which are a little bit more hearty. Sometimes for dinner, instead of serving uh, like rice or potato, I'll basically take a bunch of these out and I'll crisp these up and uh, maybe put a little bit of Parmesan cheese on them or, or nothing actually. We just use them to soak up all the wonderful juice from a nice roast chicken. Um, and then finally, um, Coutons, uh, you know, these uh, things that you can... Now, right now, these are still soft. I have such a large quantity that I'm not going to crisp all these up now. I'm going to throw a lot of them in the freezer. And when I'm ready, I'll pull them out. I'll put them on a baking pan, and then I'll uh, crisp those up. Um, normally, I'll toss them in a little bit of olive oil, maybe some herbs, salt, pepper, whatever flavor I'd like to have in my salad, if I use these as coutons. And then finally, um, these can be used to make stuffing. You can cut them a little smaller if you want, but I don't know how many of you uh, have stuffing, not at Thanksgiving, but I love it any time of year. And so these are ready to rock and roll. And then finally, with all of the kind of ends and little pieces that maybe were too stale or some of the ends that you shave off before you go ahead and cut into smaller pieces, these very kind of hard pieces, what I do is I put all of those aside I let those dry out on a, on a simple, you know, cookie drying rack. Let them sit there for a day or two, and then I'll throw those into the cuisine art and uh, chop them up real fine into breadcrumbs. If you go to the store and you go ahead and buy bread, breadcrumbs, you, you'll see how expensive they are and what a waste of money it is if you think about being able to make them yourself at home. As far as getting the bags into the freezer, um, you can see this one doesn't have a lot of air in it, which of course is great. One of the ways I do that is I'll clip the uh, bag all the way up to the end and then pop a straw inside. And then I'll give the uh, straw a nice, uh, nice suck. <sighs> Pretty cool, huh? All right, you got to admit it. That is so cool. Check it out. All right, well, that's it for the culinary compass today. Ciao for now.